Hey everybody, Andre from CFX Films here, and I'm gonna be kicking off 2016 with a tutorial. This is a new program that I've never covered before. Well, technically the program's not new, but I've never covered it, so it's new to you guys. Uh, this is Premiere Pro. This is Adobe software, and this is what I used to edit all my videos. I have loaded up here a project. This is my uh, 2015 thank you video. Um, and I'm gonna actually gonna be showing you guys how I made the video. So I think if I break it down for you and show you exactly how I do what I do, it will help you guys get a better perspective on how you can replicate it. I'm gonna start off with this intro. Uh, this intro, all it is is just a simple um, MOV file, and it's a After Effects. Um, it's an After Effects render. It has no audio track, but this was just made in After Effects. So you can see it's just a little opening here. So. You know, nothing, nothing too special, but I mean, it's a really cool video. And um, as yeah, as you can see, the, the file is missing here. I deleted the Titanfall footage already, so I'm going to get a uh, media offline. But don't worry about that. You won't be getting that unless you delete your videos uh, that are in the project. So um, this is kind of cool. If um, if you know anything about Photoshop or um, the the different channels uh, in, in a picture you will notice that there are four different channels and the fourth one is usually the alpha channel and the alpha channel uh, is basically white and black. When you render a video without the alpha channel or you render it with the alpha channel except this is black, the program will render it transparent and that's what you have here. So that's how you can get certain types of um, overlaying video effects and in this case it worked out really nicely. Um, and over here I have uh, this sound effect that I made for this video custom and each one of my videos start like this so this is actually made from a template so I have my audio track here that I typically I could be re I could rename this to um, music and I should be I believe I have this renamed ready dialogue yeah this is the dialogue um, the uh, track and I'll show you uh, how you can mix it and break it down and at the very end of the video I have my little outro that I made in After Effects, and then it takes you to this outro panel. Um, this is this is the uh, image that I made in Photoshop, so I can actually go back in and edit it however I want. If I actually open it up, you can see that's all it is. Made this in Photoshop, um, CS6, I believe, or I might actually be using no, no, it's the the Creative Cloud. CC stands for Creative Cloud. Uh, I used the 2014. So once you're done with with the file, you save it as a PNG and you import it in and I use it as my little outro and I can replace these videos. Um, let me get rid of the actual outro, the text. See, all this is is just a video. I can place it on top and that's just my 12 is better than 6 first impression video and you can change it every time. And this is blank so I can uh, add an annotation in YouTube instead, which works really well. So that's a basic rundown of how I made the video. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the program. So if you've never used this program before, probably should have started with this, but I'm going to start anyway. Um, Premiere is a video editing software. It's very fast. It's very powerful. And I'm using CC 2014 right now, but the Creative Cloud 2015 uh, software bundle has been released and it's very it's very fast uh, it is buggy so I don't recommend using it if you're converting over old projects to um, or large old projects to the new software I would recommend just finishing them on the old program then upgrading see what else I can go into yeah, just the different panels this is in effect the effects panel this just tells me sort of my history of, of um, all the the moves that I've made in this program which it's not super useful, so you don't always need this tab unless you want to go back and undo some mistake that you made a while back. Media browser, this is so you can import files from your computer um, if you need to. And uh, these are just three panels here, but you can import as many panels as you want by going up here in the window drop down menu and you have, see, markers, options, timeline, title actions, time code. Um, time code's kind of fun. So you just this is just you know helps you get specifics on timing of, of where something is happening um, so if you need to send this to a composer this is really helpful you can tell them exactly where you want a certain sound effect or music to go and you can tell them okay at four minutes three seconds and 42 I guess I don't know if that's milliseconds I can't actually remember off the top of my head I don't think it is actually it might be mm. oh well yeah and then once you load up a window you can um, 
you can drag it and, and uh, you'll see these blue little outlines and you can place it wherever you want on the screen. It's nice to keep it organized though. You can change your workspace up here to adjust to whatever you are working currently. HCC workspace is a custom one that I made. Um, I work for my community college that's that I, I live close to that I actually attend and I do their videos for them. So I have a workspace that I use for those videos specifically. And I have effects when you're adding video effects uh, or audio effects. And then editing, this is for more of the video side and the clipping. Color correction is pretty self-explanatory. This is all audio, so you get mixers. You'll see this is kind of cool. So you can get each individual um, level for each, each track. Uh, this is actually my favorite one. See, so this is the uh, soundboard. And you have all the decibel ranges. And if you know anything about audio, you have different levels of decibel ranges that you want certain sounds and volumes to be in. So dialogue is usually between negative six and negative 12 decibels. Uh, so that's very important to remember that. I just realized this is, and this 12 is better than six is off, oh well. Um, and music can be uh, past that, usually between negative 16 and negative 24 if you're having dialogue talking over top. But you're supposed to change it dynamically because if there's no dialogue, the music should be louder. And if the music is loud, there shouldn't be any dialogue. And you should just go back and forth. Um, it should just be a, sort of like an oscillating wave. And um, yeah, you can change the panning, right speaker, left speaker. That's kind of fun sometimes. And uh, up here, these little arrows, each one of these is an effect panel, and you can add your own effects to each each track. And the, by the way, these are tracks, every one of these, these lines, these are considered tracks, if I didn't explain that earlier. So I can add uh, a treble effect and a bass effect, so I can change um, the lower end and the high end frequencies. So if you know anything about sound, again, you know there are the different types of uh, mixers, I guess, to put it in a simple term and um, Premiere does a lot of work for you so if you want to add a multi broadband compressor which I'm actually using right now what you're listening to is a compressed uh, and balanced version of my voice you're not listening to the raw cut so that's kind of cool so as you can see my voice sounds it's popping and it sounds very clear and crisp uh, that is my audio program that's doing that for me but I will also import this into Premiere and then I'll compress it in Premiere 2 and balance it out even more. So you'll be hearing a double compressed but um, uncompressed WAV format of the audio track file so you'll be getting the clearest quality possible, which is kind of cool. If all that made sense, great. If not, um, go back and watch it again. Um, there's not too much else to really cover. A lot of things in Premiere come down to um, how fast you can work efficiently and if somebody wants you to edit a video for them and they want it done quickly you need to know the key the shortcuts and the hotkeys Premiere is all about shortcuts and hotkeys so if I click edit here see this control X control C control V these are all little little hotkeys that you need to know so if you want to copy a file you need to know how to do that and you need to know how to paste it and you need to know how to edit these are kind of cool these tools these are just editing tools for clipping so this one, basically you can, it, it, I'll give you an example of how you can, how you can do this. So if I have this blank space in between these two videos where it's just black and I want to, I can't ripple delete, uh, ripple delete, basically if I have nothing in the way, I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, you can click ripple delete and it'll automatically close the gap. Uh, so that's kind of uh, helpful. So you don't have to select everything and then you have to, you know, zoom in and then you have to scroll and then match it up. That just It just gets tedious. By the way, I'm scrolling with Alt and then the scroll wheel. So little thing you should know. And Alt and a scroll also increases the size of the tracks. Um, so if you want to compress them, if you have a lot of tracks, you can sort of see where sounds are playing, and it's uh, really helpful. So I can see, okay, this one only has a sound in the beginning, and this one has a sound in the end. And then depending on what you name the files, the tracks, you can see I'll rename this to sound effects so now I know exactly where the sound effects are it's kind of cool yeah so this uh, this little rolling edit tool is kind of cool it basically takes the end of the first video and then the beginning of the second video and just sort of moves it moves the edge I have this effect on here it moves the edge oh no moves the edge along the this 
it just adjusts the end point. So if you're a couple frames off, again, like I said, you don't have to edit it the way that I did earlier. And this just sort of does it all for you in one step. Really convenient. And there's a lot of different tools here. There's the magnetic tool. So things snap. So you can see how it snaps there when it gets close. That's what this magnet tool does. And there's a lot of different tools in here. Marker, this is for when you're having scenes and you need a chapter menu. So if you're having a DVD menu, that's helpful. Uh, yeah, that's right. There's even a DVD menu. Adobe Encore is also really powerful. Uh, that's really fun. I made the DVD for Revan, uh, the feature film that I worked on. I made that in Encore. So, and you can look at the full list of Adobe software on their website. I'll have the, the link to their website in the description below. Definitely go check out Creative Cloud. It is quite pricey, but if, if you really want to be doing video editing or you're running a YouTube channel, I highly recommend it. So that's a basic rundown of Premiere. There's a lot of other hotkeys and different tricks and commands and I, uh, that I could tell you about in this video, but this video is getting already a little long and this is a good rundown of the basics and basically how I make my videos. And I'll give more detailed descriptions and tutorials in the future, but this is the introduction to it and my introduction to 2016. So I've been talking a lot. Hopefully you caught all that. Uh, I apologize if I'm talking too fast. I'm just really energetic today and I'm really excited about 2016. So if you didn't catch any of that, just go back and let me know in the comment section below if you want me to explain anything specifically so I know what I can put in my future tutorials. With that note, I will close out this video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment below what you thought of this and if you think this was helpful to you and if it's information that you are interested in and want to know, I will definitely make more of these uh, quicker if it is. Yeah, share this video with your friends if they're looking to get into YouTube too. I'm hoping to help as many of you guys as I possibly can with this. I'm excited for 2016. Thank you guys and I will see you next time.